Hello, my name is Dr. Jonathan Oates, archivist for the London Borough of Ealing. And today, in our local history video, we are in Acton Park. Now, Acton Park is just north of Acton Vale, along Duxbridge Road. Um, it is Acton's largest park, and it is Acton's oldest park. It's about 25 acres. Discussion first began about Acton Park in 1882. The council were thinking of purchasing the land that was around Berrymead Priory, which is to the south of the um, Uxbridge Road, not far from the town hall. But it proved to be too expensive, and so the idea was dropped. In 1886, the council discussed purchasing land um, which is now used for the Twyford Church of England High School, but that was vetoed as well. And it wasn't until 1887 that serious discussion began about Acton Park. Acton Park was due to open in July 1889 and the question was who should open it. The Prince of Wales was a possibility but it was thought Acton Park was not grand enough for him. So perhaps his son, Prince Albert Victor, could open the park instead. But unfortunately, the prince had a wide range of, of towers, both at home and overseas, so it would not fit into his schedule. Eventually, the, the wife of the, the Middlesex MP, um, Lady Hamilton, opened the park to much acclaim in July 1889, and there was the Brass Band, the Acton Fire Brigade, various councillors and the Rector of Acton officially opened the park in 1889. Since then, the park has been used for many things. People have used it to walk about, to play games. During World War I and World War II, part of the land in the park were dug up for allotments to grow food during the war years. The park has also been the place for um, other events such as um, the Acton Horticultural Show in the past, um, displays of Acton Volunteer Fire Brigade. Um, and in more recent times, there's been events such as um, Acton Carnival, um, Acton Fun Fairs, and many other events. So, although Acton Park began with a great deal of controversy, I think we can mostly say these days it, it's thought to be a, a, um, a great success and a very useful amenity for people of Acton. 